you my loves welcome back to my channel I'm Kira if you're new here welcome I hope you stick around and join the fun so in today's video I wanted to discuss numbers and how we can get our little ones to learn how to count now if you know me you, if you've been around for a while you know I love flashcards um, yeah, and if you've been around for a while, you've seen these for a while. <laughs> I'm kind of like the Little Mermaid. I've got who's it's and what's it's and plenty. <laughs> That's me. I've got flashcards galore. Thingabobs, I've got 20. <laughs> so, and those are our manipulatives. I have a love a lot of manipulatives for counting from erasers to little square cube blocks to you name it we've got them but you, I even just if you've seen my other video on literacy and learning how to read or teaching your little ones how to read I made these little paddles which can also be used for numbers and teaching numbers now that's wonderful having manipulatives and flashcards is great but the important thing is to get it off of the page and into real life for our little ones so they can actually absorb it and totally understand it I mean they'll memorize <laughs> perfectly I mean look at how you'll teach them a song roll 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 your boat twinkle twinkle little star the wheels on a bus go round and round they love memorization things. They'll pick it up very well. Yes. <laughs> he started singing. Yeah. Because it's important that they understand what they're what they're saying and what they're repeating. I'll incorporate read alouds um, for the day with it. We'll read books that are number based, like our Counting Dinosaurs or our. Yes. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> when working with toddlers, sometimes it's like being in Pee Wee's Playhouse <laughs> because there's always the magic word of the day that will set your little one off. <laughs> and D I N O is one of the words that just grabs his attention and goes. And that's another thing that we'll use. We'll count our dinosaurs. Now, uh, along with read alouds. And flashcards and manipulatives and dino counting and car counting. You want to meet your child where they're at and what their interests are. You can get them to focus if you're using what they love and what they're into. They will absorb it. They're like, oh, we're counting my butterfly collection today, mommy. Wonderful. And they'll go with it and they'll count each little butterfly or each little trinket that you put in front of them. Now, on top of that, we also count everything everything we see everything we're using for instance when I'm in the kitchen cooking I'll have him come in and help by counting whatever I'm scooping or whatever quantity I or, or anything that I have he's counting it along with me this way he'll start to pick up on numbers and quantity and put them together and he'll, he'll be able to visualize oh the number one just one scoop of sugar or two, three, 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 four, four. So this way, yeah. they'll be able to put <laughs> two and two together and realize that, you know, hey, counting is fun. Look at what I can, what I see, I can count. When we're in the market, we'll count everything that's going in, like in the produce section. We'll count the fruit or the vegetables that's going in the bag. It truly helps them to see the world <laughs> in its biggest form and understand that this gets the stuff off of the paper and into the real world because that's what learning is all about. Incorporating it into our lives and being able to implement it on a day-to-day -day basis. So guys, that's my spiel for today. How do you teach your kids how to count or number memorization? What do you use? What are some of the tips you have? I would love to know. So definitely leave that in the comment section below. And until we meet again, as always, stay positive.